Taking out the, take, taking advantage of driving the limited versus driving our car. And we have a mattress here that's gonna get picked up. Labor Day, got my white pants on. Cause apparently you can't wear white after Labor Day. Not that I even pay attention to that stuff. It's just coincidence that I ended up pulling out these pants. I've had them forever and they haven't fit me in forever. And I like how it pops against my uh, blouse. Just getting here to the place and it's called Cinnamons. <clears throat> and I'm gonna park right in the front, I guess. I wonder if I'm the first one here. I cannot vlog for the life of me this morning. Um, I am um, in the parking lot of Cinnamon's restaurant because we're going to eat breakfast with some of the other vlogger moms as I mentioned in the vlog last night. Um, it's Monday and Labor Day and the kids are off and it worked out that our husbands are all watching the kids. Um, so it felt nice to like dress up. I even took like some outfit pictures like propping the camera on um, the garbage. So good thing it was garbage day because you know I didn't have like my full on tripod to take outfit pictures. I wanted to feature an outfit picture with this blouse because I got it from swap.com in my haul and it was originally $49 and I got it for so cheap. And here I think Jan that's Janice. No. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But anyway. Um, yeah so it should be nice. And Brian will probably go to work as soon as I get back, but, um, yeah, I'm just trying to take advantage of driving this car, because <laughs> I'm sad to give, I'll have to give it back, but I love the moonroof, I love the captain's chairs, you just lose a seat, that's the only, like, downfall of the car, because our car is not as hooked up as this car, but it, um, it has the extra seat in the middle, but the kids like being able to walk in and walk to the back. Um, and if ever I sit back there, like if we do long driving, I like the captain's chair idea, but it reminds me of a minivan. But let me see if that's Janice. I should probably text and see um, so that we can get a table because the other girls are still on their way. Say hi, Janice. Hi. So we're the first ones here. <laughs> the girls I'm are. I'm excited to eat. <laughs> I know. I'm like, ooh, I want to eat those pancakes in your vlog. The it's other so girls good. are still on their way, so we're yeah. going to try to get a table. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Look how cute it is here. Hello. Hello, Miss Thing. She's so busy there. Oh, I always do that to her. No. You look actually nice. It looked like a nice picture. I should have taken a picture of you doing that, like on your on your phone. But, oh, look who's here again. And then Janice, I show you guys. And Stephanie. Say hi, Stephanie. Oh, yeah, we got to look at our menu. So I kind of looked at it. I'm not really sure what I want to get. Tell me when. This one's just like... I'm like all... Oh, anybody? Um, that was me. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap. We need to take a nice pic... We need to take a picture with all this stuff. Do not touch your food, lady. Don't touch your food. <laughs> yes, Kat. Sing some more for us. My pretty brown rice. <laughs> what did, yeah, you do the intros. What is this? Oh my god, look at those guava. <laughs> do we feel, do, are we weird? <laughs> you need to take a picture of us. You, you take a picture and send it to me. It's not, and send it to me. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. It's hilarious. Look, this is what happens. White rice? Um, Thank you. I'm not getting anything else. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll put it aside. Let's not hide. Yeah. Let's move the water. Move the water out the way. Easy. It doesn't look pretty. No. Yeah. Somebody that's good at this, will fix it. Because I'm gonna. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's for decoration. <laughs> we came here to take pictures and not eat. I know. I'm gonna be like hashtag wannabe food bloggers, 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 bloggers. Me too. I took off my shoes to take off. I took off my shoes to take a picture. Oh, yes. Are we ready to eat now? Okay, guys. Can I react to the guava What did you get? Oh my god, look at this. Oh, wasabi steak. And then. What did you get, Stephanie? Crab cakes? Oops. We're done. I mean, I got a goodie box here. I'm gonna feed my kids. 
<laughs> with everybody's leftovers. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> but look at this. This is the aftermath of this. Yeah, we got our little to-go boxes. And then um, Jamie's like, where are we going next? I know, where we, we didn't even have a drink. We didn't have a drink drink. Oh, so you, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm not driving. I know. Yeah. You're not driving. We're driving. Hang on. I'm going to call Brian over here. We're going to call, call a lift. Just call yeah. Brian. <laughs> Millennium Las Vegas because the girls are taking a contemporary pop class. Our first time here. And then there's some, they're in the room down there. They're taking it with two of, or one of their friends. Obi. Yeah, and it's good because it ended up being a free class. That's where I am. Say hi, Christy. Hi. It's dangerous here. She got what she came for. I'm and, then, <laughs> and then look, they have the cutest things here. This like DIY wreath. No, this is so cute to put in the background of a video. I came here to buy gifts for my nieces. And then why am I? And then look at this, Peppa Pig. Up for a dollar. Oh, this is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. All this stuff adds up. Oh, trying to abort this mission over here. We gotta get out of here. Abort mission. Look, you can put these stickers on here. And then they have this. I was like, oh my god, this is so cute, but I don't need it. And then, what's that thing that you found here? Look, she showed me this. Which better have my candy? Blame you if I don't like it. I'm blaming her if I don't like it. It's pumpkin spice. I am not a pumpkin person, and I'm trying it because she keeps raving about it. And I'm gonna have to vlog myself trying this. Look at these kids are looking at me. It's my first time trying pumpkin. Pumpkin spice frappuccino, and I got it for 25% off. Like something like, like pumpkin pie. Like Bobby. <laughs> but I don't like pumpkin pie. Oh man. No, but it tastes good. It tastes a little bit. I'm not good with like recognizing like flavors. Like it tastes very like it tastes like something I've tried like a like a some type of a bread or a loaf. Pumpkin bread. No, like a, like a, like a. Oh my God! Wonderful. Dang it! That's what I get. Give me a minute. Hold on. I don't dislike it at all. I. They're allowed to have this, right? Look if I let her sit. Here, Wayne. Here. It's good. I don't dislike it. But I don't know if I crave it. <laughs> it's refreshing. Oh, she said no. Here, you have your own, baby. Do you like it, Wayne? Got Taste test. You like it? Uh, she likes it. She's giving me the bread. She's, she's like, I like. Oh, somebody likes it. We need a picture of them. Library for story time. Oh, my thing is wet for my wipes. Look at here, you on the train? Is there a friend want to share with you? Story room. It is so hot, it is like 
105 degrees and I have to get gas. But, um, got all of my bags lined up and they're food for after school. I made quesadillas. Colby is awake. She had a really nice nap because um, after we went to the book, um, the story time and Target and she was playing, um, and so she was playing in the library for a little bit. She went home, had a snack, and then went straight to sleep. She was so tired. Which meant that I was able to, you know, finish odds and ends and set a video live and post on social media. All of that. And make their food. So I would say it was pretty productive so far for this Tuesday, but today is um, back to school night and I'm again pressed for time because Dylan doesn't have anything but Malia has danced four to six. Back to school night is you can come to any of the three sessions between 5.30 to 7. So I want to come for the 5.30 one and try to hit up all three of their classes but then Malia gets out at 6 and then Emily gets out at 7. So Malia is super close to the school like I could leave and come go get her and come back but my friend was telling me parking is going to be horrendous and it's just going to be... I'm probably not going to have enough time if I do that because by the time I park and come back to the school, I'll have to leave again to go pick up Emily at 7. So, thankfully, Brian offered to come back, which I think is hard for him because it's a lot of driving and it's more gas to come back here if he's already down by the strip. But he's going to come back at 6 and pick up Malia. So that way I can be in the back to school night and hit up all three of the teachers, hopefully before I pick up Emily. With me, Dylan stayed home, but I'm going to the kids' back to school night. It's already a line out here. Here McDonald's late at night. I had to set this up for the picture to promote the new um, Happy Meals. Have all of um, these cool books to promote. Um, read, what is it called? Reading month? Can you put it? So, Daddy's here with us because he picked up Malia from dance. And we're going to eat. Wednesday. Hello, Babaj. Good morning. Say good morning. She always, like, takes out her arms from the seatbelt. She's like freaking Odini. As tight as I make it, she finds a way to take her arms out. You're not supposed to do that. I'm gonna put it back on. Okay. Anyway, so we're just here. I'm waiting for Brian. He just ran into the bank, but um, he usually tries to take off Wednesday as his day off. But since he didn't work the full day yesterday because I needed his help, I think he's gonna go in like later today. But we're just trying to do our errands. Um, Brian went to drop off our car for its oil change and all that, and then he dropped off Evelyn because she has choir. So she's excited that she could be a part of it because it's before school because any activities after school they can't do because they go straight to dance so that's just unfortunate but that's just they just have to expect that's just how it is if they're you know in, as involved in dance as they've been and they know this already from last year um but uh, Wednesdays also is like school spirit day in their school and the school gave t-shirts to all the kids and every Wednesday um, they wear their shirts so I always have to make sure I wash you know do the laundry make sure they have their shirts for Wednesday but um, they get excited about that and I really like that about the school that they're really into that and then there are a lot of like um, activities that the school offers um, which is nice and then yesterday I didn't I don't think I talked about their back-to-school night so it went well I met I've already met all their teachers because they had the meet and greet in the beginning of the year which they don't do that in in our um, school you don't meet the teachers until conferences or back-to-school night I think they have back-to-school night but they have a meet and greet back-to-school night and then they're gonna have conferences um, so yeah, so now we're going to go to Costco, probably at 10, we're going to go to, back to the house first. I think my father-in-law might come with us to Costco. Um, yeah, so I was saying in my snap, and I wanted to ask any of you guys, do, do your kids 
have any type of, I don't want to say it's OCD, but any type of like ritual that they do sometimes. So for instance, when Dylan was really little, he was really obsessed with washing his hands. So every time he was by the sink or any time he got his hands dirty or what he thought was dirty, he would have to wash his hands not once or twice, like several times. Like he would wash his hands in a certain way and not only like one time, it would be several times. And it was, he, he did that for like a short while, but like a good enough time for it to be like, you know, but eventually he grew out of it. So now since he started at the school, I noticed um, he was always giving me a full on kiss on the lips, a hug and saying, bye, see you after school. And then after, right after he would do that kiss, hug, bye, see you after school, he would do it at least three times. And then now he's gone down to doing it at least two times. But I'm just, I don't know much about psychology. I mean, I took, I took it in, in college, but like, I'm just thinking it's just a temporary thing. And maybe it has something to do with being in a new environment and just some type of security. And it makes him feel more secure to do that. Um, but even if I dropped him off by car like he has to do that like he can't give me a full-on hug but he'll give me a full-on kiss on the lips and if i don't kiss him full on the lips he like no no he has to do it again so do any of your kids or have they ever like done this like and what was the circumstances of like your life at that time that made them start doing it and then was it just a phase and how long did it last so comment down below let me know because I'm just curious. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a phase and it's just because, you know, we just moved here and all of that. So I'm just curious what if he's not though. I know he's not the only one. Yes, here we are. It's Costco time. Good morning. Oh. Oh, good morning. Look what I'm picking up. My biffle. Say good morning. Good morning. Is it still morning? Yeah. Nice Obie, what did you do to your seatbelt? You know we're here at Baby Sex Cafe again. <laughs> so me and Pia are splitting the adobo. What is it called? I forgot already. Lolo, Lolo Rick's adobo fried rice. So there's adobo fried rice wrapped in an omelet. But this time we're doing just regular pancakes. I want to try, I want to taste the pancakes. What do you mean? Like, I don't want to taste their pan real pancakes. I don't Did I want to compare it. Like, oh. It's better, this one or the Oh, the between the two? The plain one. Taste test. Okay, Colby, we're still waiting for Lady. Okay. Now, look, ladies. Fit, this is Lady's Fitting Room. Welcome to Lady's Fitting Room in Target. Let's go ahead, put it on, Lady. That looks cute. Aww. That's cute though. Yeah. I saw this online. It looks cute with the shoes. Yeah. I mean, you can dress it down too. <laughs> Welcome to Ladies Fitting Room. Right in here, I gotta get toothpaste. Lady has to get body wash. What do you have to get, Pia? Nothing. Nothing. So, but we're here sidetracked by the shoes. Oh my god. Look. Oh, she's scared. It's Tita. Oh. How about Tita Pia? Oh my God. You're traumatizing her. Oh, it's okay. I'm all laughing. Oh. Sing Lady about this smart food. Parmesan garlic flavored. I'm going to try it one more time. One more, Pia. One more. I love the original one. This is a little kick. Not sure about the aftertaste. Yeah, it has an aftertaste. Yeah. She's looking. You want one, Colby? Oh, you asked Tita. Tita, can I have one? Tita, can I have one? Yes, baby. Peace. Is that all my bags? Yeah. Okay. Love. Good. Do you like it? Oh, I guess she likes it. You like it? Yeah, one more. Thinking about it. You need a drink. She needs a drink. She, 
<laughs> she was looking for her drink. She's like, you don't like it? She don't like it. Come here. Here, give it back to Tita Lady. She was thinking about it, and then she looked for her drink.